good with English. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I did my favorite. Yeah, there you go. Have a nice day, sweetheart. She was picked up. All right. Well, she bloody told me. Save me the bother. Bye. See ya. Why didn't you tell me you were picking Holly up? Holly? What are you talking about? Look, I told you, I thought she'd been picked up. Well, obviously she wasn't, or she'd be with us, wouldn't she? Well, what's going on if we found her? I don't believe this. What do you pay all these school fees for? I'm sorry, Mr. Wormsey. I don't know how this could have happened. Look, maybe she did go off with someone. You know, one of her mates. Well, that's possible, isn't it? The mum would have told us. Well, maybe not. Not if they thought you already knew. Well, then you go home. I'll drive around her friends, yeah? What if she's not there? Look, we'll find her. I got lost. Yes? This is Wolsey. Speaking. I have Holly with me. Oh, thank God. Ian, someone's found her. Who is this? I'll come and pick her up. I'll bring your daughter back to you. In return for £500,000. What? No. You must do exactly as I say. No, please. No, my baby. Hey. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Just shut up and listen. Yes, yes we're listening. You have until 8.30 tonight to organise the cash. After that, I'll call again with further instructions. Do not call the police or anyone else. Your phone calls are being monitored. Your house has been bugged and you're being watched. I don't think I have to warn you what might happen if you don't follow these instructions exactly. Oh, please don't end them. No! You heard what they said, they're listening to yeah, us! Yeah, well I hope you can hear this, I'm gonna keep kill him! Just shut up! Okay, okay, we have to think calmly, huh? She must be terrified. If anything happens to her, I can't bear it! Think about it, he won't hurt her. He only wants the money. I just have to get it. Ian. That's half a million quid. Just saw it now. Wait, look, I can't. We ain't got that sort of cash, not in ready. We might have a few have afraid it all on sports cars and fancy jewellery. Look, I'll get the money. I'll use what I have for my transfer fee. No. Oh, um, hey, thank you. Yeah, thank you. I'll go now, the bank's out soon. I'll get my passport. No. Okay. 
kind of mother am I? Please, Donna, don't blame yourself. If it's anyone's fault, it's hers. I'm sorry. Where were you, Mary? Hey? Eh? Why do you forget about her? Now, come on, what were you doing that was so fucking important you couldn't tear yourself away? Hey? Eh? You've been nothing but troubles that you got here! Well, maybe for once in your life you should take some responsibility. Oh, well, this is my fault. Why did they pick us, eh? Because of you parading the kids in magazines and bragging to anyone who listened how much money you earn. Oh, you want me to apologise for making money? Well, I do this for you. I do this for our family. You do it for yourself. You have to be the centre of attention, don't you? Oh, we lost Daniel because of it. And now I will have it. <laughs> Look, I want us to find the police. We can't handle this by ourselves. We need help. No, Ian, we can't risk it. Yeah, but the police will know what to do. You know, they're professionals. They won't let Ollie come to any danger. We can't call them. He told us not to. <sighs> yeah, but if we let these bastards get away with it, who says they're not going to try it again? Please, Ian. We just give them the money and Holly will be OK. What, what, what if they come back for more? Hey, or they go for someone else's kid next time? They need locking up, babe. And I need to know my daughter's safe. It's not worth the risk. I want her home. Yeah, well, all right, Don, we'll give him the money. Hey, I'm, I'm not going to put anything at risk. We're going to get our baby back, don't we? Sal's got the money! Sal, thank you so much. Yeah. Hey, your roommate. You can do the same for me, huh? We're gonna get her back. I'm never gonna let her go again. You okay? It should have been the best year of my life. What with Ian getting on the team and everything. Maybe we're being punished for wanting too much. Yeah, hey, you're a good person. You deserve to be happy. But I'm not. I wasn't even before all this. Everything's going to be okay, huh? Amore. You're not alone. Hello. You got the money? Yeah, we've got it. All of it. Tomorrow, you'll call your daughter's school. Tell them she found her way home, but she's got a bug and she won't be in. You and BRG must go to training as usual. Your sister-in-law must leave the house at nine and not return till five. Do you know the Riverside Shopping Centre? Yeah, yeah, we know what that is. 12.30 tomorrow, your wife must take the money there. Find the bakery on the top floor. There's a bin outside. Put the bag of money in it. What about Holly? Yeah, and my daughter, she'll be with you, yeah? After the money's been dropped off, your wife must go to the fountain on the ground floor. Once the money's been checked, you'll get your daughter back. <laughs> it's nearly time. You have to go to training, like you said. I don't like leaving you by yourself. Please. You have to, for Holly's sake. Oh, come on, sir. We're being watched, remember? We have to do what they told us.
Yeah, please, please. Hey, what are you doing? I'm doing what she's done in the first place. You can't. You have to wait until the holy's safe. Just drive the bloody car. Yeah, hello. But I don't understand. Why did you come to work? Well, look, we had to. It's what they wanted. Everything is normal. They told us not to phone the police. <laughs> you did the right thing. So, what happens now? You and Mr. Biagi should go training, as agreed. Well, the Donna can't know you're involved. Well, we won't contact her. I mean, it's unlikely that this guy has tapped the phone, but just to be on the safe side. Anyway, if she drops some money off as instructed, the kidnappers will have no reason to panic. Just make sure my baby's safe, yeah? Don't worry, Mr. Wormsley. We'll get her home to you. And the bastard that did this. I didn't scare you, did I? Hi, uh, look, have you come for your money? Certainly have. <laughs> Listen, I need to get going, so you've got my cash. I, uh, I can't find my purse. Can we pay you double next week? I mean the 500 grand. If you want your kid back, alive. You woman, you bastard! Where is she? She'll be waiting for you where I said. You hurt her. I swear to God, I'll kill you! Why have you done this to us? To our homie? Do you really think you and your mongrel family are better than me? You think that's why you're the ones who swim in that pool and I'm the one that cleans the scum out of it? Well, you must do. That's why you're in all the magazines. Showing off how rich you are. Trying to make everyone a bit jealous. <sighs> well, I'm sorry, but you people disgust me. Off you go, then. Eh? Can I eat like to Z or something? Why don't I go and organize us some coffee? No, 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 you stay here. No one will disturb you. So sort of bastard would do this, eh? To a little girl. That's my little girl. No, why hasn't done a run? And I just said half twelve, that was ages ago. Maybe you shouldn't have told the police. <laughs> oh, no, but I had no choice. No, you could have listened to Donna. The police don't make sense half the time. No, you don't deserve her. And one day she'll realize it too, if she hasn't already. Hey, Mrs. Wormsley, we need you to be quiet. 
quiet now, huh? Okay. No! Please. No, he said no, please! Uh, no. Come, we're gonna see. No! Please. 